I find it quite useful in some of the designs when I do them for clients to remove what's called pointer events from blocks. And what this means is when you hover over a block, for instance, when I show you on the screen, there'll be a video block. So when you hover, sometimes you don't want anyone to be able to click on it or interact with it in any way. And let's just use the, the video block as an example. I, let's say I want it to be decorative. I want like a really nice video. And as you scroll, I don't want the, like the play pause button to come up. I don't want the timeline to come up, none of that. So what I'm going to have to do is remove the pointed events. So, ah, and we don't want the little, what would you even call it? The clicker, you know, the one, the pointer, you don't want that to come up either. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do it specifically on a video, but this applies to all blocks. So if you had a button that you didn't want someone to be able to hover over, if you had an image, which, you know, you didn't want someone to hover over, whatever it is, this applies to any block and any section on Squarespace. So we'll hop on in now. You can see here, I've got a video set up and it's like a nice decorative video, but when we hover, we've got this big, play pause button, which I, I don't want. I don't want someone to be able to pause full stop. I don't want them to see any of this either. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the block ID for this. And to do that, we use the Squarespace block ID finder, which is here. And then I'm going to get the block ID. So I click this and that's going to copy it. Then I go into website pages, scroll down to website tools, and then custom CSS. In there, I'm going to paste our block ID and I'm going to use our squiggly brackets. And then inside of there, I'm going to put pointer events, none, and we'll do important just for good measure. Save that. And then if I blow this up, when we scroll, look, nothing. I'm trying to click, nothing. Can't click, can't interact, nothing. It's just purely decorative. And let's say, you know, we had the same here. We get this little icon when we uh, hover over the link. I could grab the block ID for this as well. So I grab that, put a comma, bang. And then now, see, nothing. Even when I'm clicking, it won't interact with it. So that's how you remove any hover effect from a block on Squarespace. If you found that useful, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.